All right, so good afternoon everyone and thank you for being here with us. Um, it's a big room and, and I know we, we have a, uh, a spread audience, um, but that, that doesn't mean that a small number of people can't make a lot of noise. So I actually hope that we do have some fairly vigorous um, discussion and debate in this, se in this session. Um, this session is a, a Meet the Experts panel session. Um, my name is Alicia Ross and I'll be facilitating today. Um, but most of the talking is going to happen from the, <coughs> pardon me, three panellists. Uh, we will have our third panellist joining us shortly. Uh, but we are really blessed today to have the experience in the room that, that, that um, will be shared with you from these wonderful people that are sitting up here with me. So it is a great pleasure for me to introduce to you Lady Rosalind Maratu. Marata. Marata, my apologies. No problem. Former First Lady of Papua New Guinea and Chair of the PNG Country Coordinating Committee for the Global Fund. And sitting next on our panel is a man that I do know very well, and thank you for being here with us, is Professor Rob Moody. Now, Rob has been many different things over the years, and uh, you know, one, one of the things that I think he'll draw on today is actually um, part of his role as the inaugural director of country support for UNAIDS and uh, his work in public health. And just in time, thank you very much, very <laughs> pleased to uh, welcome our third panellist, Steve Krauss, who is the director of UNAIDS regional support team for Asia Pacific. So please give a round of applause for our panellists. So this session is about the recipe for effective public health, innovation, leadership and grassroots mobilisation. What does that mean? Well, what I'm hoping, and I say this to all of our panellists, what I'm hoping that we can uh, bring up in our discussion and debate today is what are the ingredients, what are the, the extra ingredients that, that we need to really frame effective public health, public health that works on the ground and public health that works, you know, at the top end as well. And I know that you all have experience um, working at that grassroots uh, end as, as well as working in some large agencies. So I hope that you'll be really candid and give us some insight into those experiences. 